Hi everyone, I'm Sid Ray 9 and welcome to the finale video of Resident Evil 4. It's been a lot of fun. I really hope you've enjoyed this this LP of it. Um, I sh think I showed off quite a bit. Had some good advice for most things. Of course, we all know the exception to that being the uh, being the mercenaries. <laughs> but I'm gonna go over the bottle caps now because I think they're cool. That's why I saved them. Lay out with the rocket launcher. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. And you see, it's him in the uh, tactical vest with the rocket launcher. He says, "Stand back." Leon with the uh, base shotgun. Don't worry, Ashley. I'm coming for you. Don't worry, Ashley. I'm coming for you. Leon with the handgun and his awesome coat, which I wish was like a, a special outfit you could get for him. The way he just had it the whole game. Ada! 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 <laughs> Ashley Graham. How many times do we hear that during the LP? <laughs> Luis Seta with the uh, the Red Nine. Did you send out those invitations? I told you no more than 50 people. Did you send out those invitations? I told you no more than 50 people. <laughs> now he didn't say that during the uh, during the LP, but that's during the cabin scene. Uh. Sometimes he says that uh, because you know the cabin is getting swarmed, so, he's, so he says this. Uh, every once in a while he says it. Did you send out those invitations? I told you no more than 50 people. <laughs> no more than 50 people. And of course there's a whole bunch of enemies. Really cool. And Ada Wong with her, uh, her pistol. Looks like she has the Black Tailor Punisher. The second row are uh, enemies. Don Jose. With the axe. Don Diego. Don Esteban. Yeah, how many times did we hear that as well during the campaign? Because he always seems to be the one that points, is this guy. Don Manuel with the pitchfork. There's Dr. Salvador. Which is terrifying. And the Bella Sisters. The awesome merchant. Would have been cool if it had the sound effect with the uh, coat opening as well. I would have really liked that. Zealot with Scythe. Zealot with the shield. These guys, which are a pain. Zealot with the bowgun. This one has the uh, special skull. I just don't notice that. The bowgun has like a clip of three. So is that how they fire? Because it seems like they always fire three. They go... And then they have to reload. I guess that's why. Because they have three shots. Neat. And the leader zealot. You see he has the, uh, the key on him. Don Pedro, this is the one with the uh, whip scythe. We have a soldier with dynamite. 
who more often than not actually hurt his friends more than us. <laughs> Soldier with the stun rod. Soldier with hammer. These guys where the weak point really is the face. Here you have just a random villager. But female, Isabel, and Maria. And last but not least, you have JJ. I just like the machine gun sound effect. So there you go. There are the bottle caps. I think they were a nice little addition to uh, to have. I don't know. I think I think they're kind of cool. It's worth j for the money reward as well. But I think they're neat to to get and just hear the enemies. So there you go. That's that. And the last thing I'm going to do for this is just talk about the LP in general. I really hope you enjoyed it. This is my favorite Resident Evil game. It's this one. Uh, the classics hold a certain charm for me as well. And the ones after this are good. Resident Evil 6, I'm mixed about. Um, there's some things I like about it, but there's some things I don't. Uh, Resident Evil 5 is pretty good. I enjoy it, just uh, not as much as this one. And like I said, the, the more classic ones, 1, 2, Nemesis, hold a certain... Uh, certain place for me just because of they're classic but I'm really glad I could play through this Resident Evil for all of you I really do hope you enjoyed the LP I know sometimes I didn't have a ton to say uh, I focused a lot on the battles and uh, attempting to stay alive <laughs> which didn't always work we saw that as well but it was fun. I know I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. I got to show off the striker, which was nice. The ridiculous capacity striker, and then, of course, the uh, broken butterfly. Uh, sorry I couldn't get any of the special weapons. Uh, that's actually what this playthrough is here. You see, I loaded up a 1-2 uh, file. And uh, on round two, and I was going to play through it, but then I had that whole hard drive problem, and I just kind of got out, got out of uh, playing it other than to record episodes. I might have some random episodes sometime in the future of just like, hey, I was bored one day and played a lot of Resident Evil. Check this out. Now I have the Chicago typewriter, and then show it off. I doubt it. You know, like I said, don't, please don't hold your breath for that. Please don't ask for that. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. But this is where I'm ending my Let's Play of Resident Evil 4. Again, Leon Scott Kennedy, my favorite character of Resident Evil. I just like his snarky attitude, his, his wittiness. And just the guts that he's got. Never never gives up. Um, I'm a big fan of Leon. So that's going to do it. It's going to be really short. I thought I'd have more to say, but then I kind of realized that I've said it all. <laughs> I knew the bottle caps wasn't going to take long, but... Um, let me know what you thought of the LP in the comments. Would you like more uh shooters from me would you like a new change of direction uh let me know i'm kind of curious even though the next game i already have planned out and it is going to be in this vein of of uh, resident evil 4 it uh to me plays quite a bit like it in in kind of respects to combat. 
but I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'm not excellent at that game that I'm going to be playing next, but I think I'm pretty good. And uh, I'm going to be challenging myself, and I think the game is going to bite me for it. <laughs> so that'll be fun. But until then, again, let me know what you thought of the LP in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the if you enjoyed the let's play, please subscribe to the channel and watch some other of my let's plays. I've started to try to branch out a little bit. I'm playing some shooters now. I'm really a well-rounded gamer, although RPGs are my specialty. Uh, strategy games kind of next in that line. Although I haven't really done a lot of strategy games yet, just because they tend to be lengthy. But uh, RPGs are my specialty. It is what I am great at, what I'm a veteran of. I've played a lot of RPGs. But I want to show that I am a well-rounded gamer and can play different things. So, hope you enjoyed Resident Evil 4. If you played it before, hope you liked the uh, memories that it kind of brought. If you haven't played it before, uh, pick it up. It's pretty cheap now. You can get it on Steam. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play through. And once you've beaten the game once, you can try it on Professional. The enemies hit harder. They take more damage. It's just overall a step up in difficulty. Uh, sometime way in the future, I may do a Professional run. Which is really what this was supposed to be anyway. I don't remember if I ever mentioned that. I think I did the very first episode. But just as a reminder, this was going to be a Professional run. But because I hadn't played the game yet, I didn't have Professional unlocked. <laughs> So sometime in the future, I may try a uh, professional run through and kind of show you the differences there. Mainly the big differences, there are a few additional uh, enemy spawns, but for the most part, it's just the amount of damage and you take and the amount of damage they can take. You take more damage from them, they take more damage to kill, which means you have to end up using more bullets, and you can see how that makes the game more difficult. Uh, again, if you enjoy my videos, please press the like button on them, and if you enjoyed this LP or any of my LPs in general, uh, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Until the next Let's Play, I'm Sindre9. Oh, and one more thing. I was talking about other Resident Evils as well, right? Well, you know how Adis kind of left off? Kind of, you know, be like, yeah, I wonder what Wesker's up to now. Well, you see that in the next game. Kind of what Wesker is up to in Resident Evil 5. Which is co-op. That's a completely different, uh, different thing. How am I going to tackle that? I don't know. We'll have to see, but I do have plans on playing it, uh sometime and like I said the next LP after this is in the same vein as, as Resident Evil 4 kind of mecha shooting mechanics wise and you'll see <laughs> you'll see but it's definitely its own game and has a uh, a lot of unique flavor I'm Cinder A9. Till the next LP, remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.